In this video, we'll take a look at how you can make an object be draggable with the mouse. Let's take a look. Alright, we found ourselves back in Unity once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how you can drag objects with your mouse, and it's actually going to be more straightforward than you might think. So for this, we will need one script and you will need, well, basically any type of game object that you want to drag. We're going to talk about those in a moment. First of all, we'll add the script and then we'll add the stuff to the game objects. So this is a C sharp script. We're going to call this the dragging example over here. And let's jump into Visual Studio to see. So for this, we once again do not need the store method. However, we will need a serialized field. Now, the reason I have this is just to show you the result of this field. We're going to make this a private bool and it's called is dragging. This is by default false because what we're going to do in the update method is we're going to say if is dragging, this is exactly right. Then what I want to do is I want to set transform.position equal to camera.main.screen to a world point passing in input.mouseposition. Exactly this. And then this is extremely important. You want to cast this to a vector 2. Otherwise, it's going to take the actual position of the camera, which is minus 10. And then you will not be able to see your actual game object anymore. So you need to cast this to a vector 2 or some other way, remove the Z position, but casting it to a vector 2 is the easiest way to do that. Of course, there still needs to be a way of how you, we can drag over here. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite the on mouse down method. You can also use the drag. You can see this is called when the user has clicked the collider and still holds it down. So you can do either or. I'm going to choose the down. So basically, we're going to make it so that you can click on an object. You can then drag it around. And when you click again, it's going to be then set down at that position. So this is going to be equal to the opposite of is dragging so that you basically toggle it on and off. That's the idea. And that is actually the entire script that we're going to need here in this case. And we want to add this to both the planet as well as the asteroid. So you can just select both of them, select one of them, hold control, and then select the other, drag in the dragging example. And there you go. It is added to both of them. Now, very important, we still need a collider. So this needs a collider. In this case, we're going to make a circle collider over here and see for the asteroid. That's a little big. So maybe we can size this down a little bit. 0 0.2, 0 0.25, maybe 0.25 is okay simply because then we get a little bit of leeway, sort of, we don't have to hit it exactly. I think that's going to be okay. And then for the planet, let's also add the circle collider, and that should be the exact circle for the planet. So that's awesome. And that is actually now all that we need. So we can now jump into the game, and now nothing happens. If I click on the planet, all of a sudden, damn, I can move around the planet however I want, and I can click again, and I can set it down, and then the same thing goes for the asteroid. Also, when you click on it, it immediately snaps to the mouse in there, so that is really freaking cool. You can also change this up, right? If you wanted to implement this in an actual quote-unquote dragging instead of, like, selecting it, you could also do on mouse down, making the dragging true, right? And then a private void on mouse up, making this false, making it an actual dragging so that you actually have to hold down the mouse button. So if we were to go in now, right, I go over this and I have to keep clicking it. And if I stop holding the mouse down, now we are actually sort of dragging it instead of, well, I can just click on it once. I actually have to hold the left mouse down. That also works. Either one is fine. Oh, this sounds pretty good. Let's add sounds in this video right here. Hope to see you there. So yeah.